It seems the 4060 will have 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Is it possible it will age more poorly than 12 gigabyte or 12 gigabyte 3060, considering how 8 gigabytes is already limiting the 3070 in some games and the 3070 Ti? It seems VRM is quickly becoming more and more important. I think the 3060 will age better than the 3060 Ti, despite being much slower at launch. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, the, the performance of those products is obviously quite, between 3060 and 3060 pretty different. But yeah, I mean, you wouldn't want to really see a product take it from 12 gig down to 8 gig these days. I certainly would think that the performance that we should be getting, again, it's hard to make a call on this because, again, you know, rumors are suggesting that those products may not be that impressive. But you know, the performance we should be getting from a 4060 tier product really would be limited by 8 gig of, of memory. If, if that is providing like 3070, 3070 Ti like performance, we already know that that is limited by 8 gigabytes these days. We're certainly right on the edge with quality settings that make sense for that card. So yeah, 4060 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM, yeah, it's yeah, as we've talked, not going to be amazing, especially if it's highly priced. That's yeah. right. We've talked about that a lot in the past. It really comes down to the price you're paying, and yeah, if you're paying a, a, a fair amount of money for a small VRAM buffer, and already out of the gate you're being limited in terms of texture quality, it's not really what should be a premium experience, depending on again how much you're paying. And really, textures are really important to the the visual you know appearance of a game. So the more the merrier when it comes to VRAM, and we're really at a point in time mm -hmm. where you want at least 12 gigabytes to get the, what would you say, the most visually impressive presentation from a game? Yeah, and it affects it affects ray tracing as well. Of course, how relevant that is for a 4060 is yet to be seen, but yep. again, it's important for that as well. Yeah, so if you get a year down the track from now and you know, 12 gig texture packs or just by default 12 gigabytes worth of VRAM will be used for the the full presentation of the game, then yeah, that's really what you want. And it doesn't really matter what level of performance or performance tier the GPU is. You, you still want those full textures, don't you? Because it doesn't even matter if it's entry level GPU. Yeah, the frame rate might be lower and other settings like shadow quality may be lower. But having those high quality textures just makes such an important difference to the presentation. So Yeah, you don't want it to be a limiting factor between generations. Like if, if you're seeing your entry level mid-range product it's got a level of performance, it's got 8 gig of VRAM, you know that's going to be a limitation, then you really would want to see the future product upgrade that area. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to see a situation where, let's say you could have bought a, th a 3060 for $330 for however many, however long now, oh, it has been hard to find the MSRP, but $350, you've been able to buy that, and then the new card comes out and you were waiting for it. You're waiting for that 4060 because you wanted the extra performance. You're waiting and waiting. You put off buying that card. The 4060 comes out. It's $350 or $400 or whatever. It, it gives you that bit more performance. But if it's immediately limited by its VRAM, then you kind of wasted all that time waiting for that product mm. to come out. You could have just bought the existing card or some other scenario where it would have made more sense. You know, it, Yeah, it does feel like these sorts of products are, are potentially going to be just limited straight out of the gate, um, and which is we, not going to be... Yeah. And, when we, and, we, and just to be clear, when we mean limited, we mean visually limited. Yes. So it's not like a CPU where it, if it doesn't have enough processing power, enough cores, uh, there's nothing you can do about that. Like if your CPU is yeah. not fast enough, you can't turn down visual quality settings to improve performance. But with a GPU, you can reduce texture quality to fit, you know, like I think you probably play Hogwarts just fine on medium quality settings with slightly lower textures on like a four gigabyte card. Yeah. So you can scale it down, but you know, lower resolution, blurrier textures look noticeably worse. Yeah, and a lot of games, you know, they're clearly optimized to be used at the highest quality texture setting. And often the lower quality textures are like pretty garbage. Not well optimized at all and really do look bad. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. It feels like yeah, eight gigabytes has sort of been that mid-range capacity for quite some time now. You can go as far back as RX 580, RX 480 had an eight gigabyte version. That was a $200 GPU, what feels like a billion years ago now. I believe it was only like seven years ago, but effectively a billion years in GPU years. Um, but having those cards offer eight gigabytes for $200 and potentially we're seeing $400, $500 GPUs with eight gig yeah, in 2023, 
that's bad progress. Yeah. Uh, certainly it's been bad progress. We need to quickly get to 16 gig as fast as possible for the majority of cards. Mm-hmm. Um, that will really improve visuals. But unfortunately, it's not happening just yet.